Hello everyone, I'm Kumgur here. Welcome back to World of Warcraft Shadowlands. The last video we took care of the House of Rituals in which we went undercover and learned some of the secrets of Kel'Thuzad. But he has betrayed his own Margrave and is going to take over the House of Rituals as the Margrave, which we cannot allow under any circumstance. So we're going to be doing the assault on the House of Rituals, but before we did that, I made sure to upgrade all my stuff as best as I could. So all of them are currently rank 6, that grants them, that grants them basically item level 90 if it weren't for these other things. Like if I could just get rid of this necklace, my item level would probably go up spectacularly. My reputation with them has become revered, which isn't really worth as much as you think. Uh, second, second, I kind of tweaked a bit about my weapon, changing it for more of this appearance look because it just matches a little, a little bit with the uh, assault, with the bit of a, yeah, with the bit of the uh, look that is Maldraxxus. I actually kind of like how it is. Plus, I've always liked that classic skull look of um, Thakil. The only reason I did it before, the other way for a while, since the beginning was because, well, if you finish the Legion Order Hall for the Warlock, why shouldn't you show off what the weapon's full potential looks like? But now it's like, oh, it's uh, more connected to Maldraxxus since we've been here. Alright, so let us proceed with this assault on the house. Oh, yes, I forgot to mention. I am almost max reputation, uh, renown with them. I only need one more. Progress with my Covenant campaign and weeklies allows me to do Renown. So, I presume once I finish this mission, I will get the last Renown. And, you know, that seems fitting that I then get the title of Baron. Let's proceed. How goes the fight? Strength comes from the heart. This is going to take a lot of effort. And I do mean a lot of effort. I mean, we are calling in so many favors, so much aid. Our enemies gather for another assault. Report. I have slain far stronger foes than you. I think I'll go to the theater of pain. Part of me wants to get this as a flying mount, while part of me doesn't. Well, I might as well show it off. Uh, when you raise enough renown, I did manage to get this. I guess if I'm going to be riding into battle, like, it's just, it's not as good, in my opinion, as my Warlock mount. Like, I do like this faction thing, and it is interesting that I've held on as long as I have. And I am eager to see this baby the first time I've ever honestly played World of Warcraft and actually kept up with the mate with the story rather than just ended up, you know, I got lethargic and it took way too long. Man, I feel like my character is gonna get sick. Yeah, I'm going back to the mouth. You know, the Netherlord Stratheed is just it's a pride thing. It's a pride thing. Like, this was the big thing about it. But, uh, I do know that eventually they will allow flying, and, you know, with flying comes mounts. So, I'm eager to see what kind of mount the Necrolords would have. But all in all, um, this was a really good campaign for the Covenant, and I'm really eager. So, honestly... I, excuse me, I'm in the middle of... Rude... 
All right, I'm here. Really? You're gonna be rude. Fine, be rude. Do not forget me. I never learned your name. But yeah, now that that's been taken care of, I could head to the mall to find information. I could try. I could finally look into that legendary crafting stuff to get some soul ash. Since I did get with the Rune Carver's memory, though, ideally, I'm pretty sure this would be my best bet if I'm going to be doing. Um... It's not the best, but it would be nice because I can't really find. Or I should probably off camera start grinding for the proper memory I want, and then I don't know, maybe like. Honestly, that would be my best bet, because those shoulder things look really cool. You know, not, you know, compared to, compared to this, like, it's nice, but, yeah, this, this I like a little more. Because it follows the same logic as all legendary gears, I'm kind of stuck in a situation. I mean, I could always go with this, but, uh or even this, but that just kind of, like, that's the problem with these legendaries. They just don't offer a good amount of, well, use. If I could equip all of it, I've said it before and I'd say it again, if I could equip all of this, I'd be so happy. But I don't think it's in the cards. Oh! Do this! Defenders of Maldraxxus! Through deceit and treachery, Kalthuzad has turned our great houses against one another. He conspires with outside forces and defies the will of the Primus. Today, he will answer for his crimes. you've scrounged together. Was this truly the best you could muster? Your foul schemes end here, Lich. Ha! You have no hope of stopping what is to come. But by all means, you are welcome to try. We cannot attack through the main entrance. Those narrow halls would give the Liches the advantage. The side route is barricaded. The enemy holds the high ground, and would rain destruction upon us. Such pitiful barriers are hardly an obstacle for me. We push forward. Aran, Masana, take your forces over the mountains and harry their back lines. This is folly. The liches will assail you with sorcery every step of the way. A wasted effort. My constructs will weather any storm they can conjure. After the wall is breached, we will follow your direction, Balmadar. Once we are inside, we must secure the Anima Reservoir, lest it be used against us. I trust you are ready, Ma Walker. Break those liches apart! Okay. Witness the fury of Maldraxxus! For battle, for glory!
Buddy, I've killed so many liches in my time, you have no idea. Give me your souls. I know that's not how it works, but now I'm good. Now you will learn the folly of opposing the House of Rituals. Gotta get through me first. <laughs> As you wish. Are you still toying with these intruders, Nina Dar? Destroy them! Yes, Master. I exist to serve. Ugh, I hate ice magic so much. I need to get closer. Defeated by the likes of you! Bitch. That reckless fool! If we do not stop her, she could destroy us all! Everyone! Forward! <laughs> well, no, there's a cat too. Almadar, you know, you can always use magic to help, like counter spells or some other crap, you know. Gotta kill one more ritualist, and you'll die. You'll die like the rest. The primus has all the power I did left us. Well, damn. 
That blast utterly obliterated her. Wait, the staff of the Primus. It is still intact. If we return this to Margrave and Dane, we may yet stand a chance against Kel'Thuzad. Rally to me! Where is Kel'Thuzad? He has seized the Prime Arcanum. It is where we conduct our most potent rituals. has shielded himself. Weapons won't break through that barrier. We must destroy the shield stabilization crystals if we are to reach him. Crow Wolfer, bring that shield down! The rest of you, spread out! Engage their reinforcements! Futile! You cannot stop my ritual! I don't know what you're planning, but it's over. Health is odd, health is odd, health is odd. All your schemes, all your machinations, your loyalty to death. And the Lich King. And no, uh, and it's gotten you a pretty high spot, I'll grant you. But how many times must we kill you before you learn? You are too late! The way opens! Destroy these meddlers! That beast is incinerating our forces! We'll be overrun! Necrolords! Hold your ground! We will not fail, Maldraxxus! Hail, Baroness! Revendreth stands with you! The beast is exposed! Moorwalker, strike it down! We will keep you covered! You managed to summon something from the fucking maw. Also, I'm pretty sure you guys are a little distracted with some death, so let me help you with that. Don't shot me! <laughs>
manage to pull something from the maw. Nothing should be able to leave the maw, but then again, the stupid moss swarm can. So, you know, maybe the jury's out on that one. What's up, General? Welcome, well fought, Mawwalker. Now for Kelthazar, Baroness Draka has begun her assault. Give the order, and I will bring you to the battle. I'm gonna say, having good item level probably is the reason it works. So after this, I'll probably have to grind, because it's like 300 each. So that's like, that's 2,700 anima. And I'm a little short on that. What an impressive gathering. So many courageous champions. I am truly honored. Why, Prince Kael'thas, is that you? I never did properly thank you for the use of your Sunwell. Enough! Kael'thuzad, you have defied the laws of the Primus and conspired to bring ruin upon Maldraxxus. Surrender, or be destroyed. Fools! It was all too easy to sow chaos and discord within your squabbling houses. The Jailer's plan unfolds exactly as intended. A pity you will not see it come to fruition. Kel'Thuzad is siphoning power from Margrave Sindane. Weaken him so I might use the staff to release her. God, that thing. Kelsuzad, we've been through that. Not the ones you need to fear, Kel'Thuzad. Your cause is lost, you serper. Now you answer for your crimes against Maldraxxus. And against me. Foolish Margrave. Your victory is a hollow one. The medallion is ours. Let us return to Revendreth. What? We cannot simply leave. Not while Kilthazard yet lives. I will have vengeance for Silvermoon. His fate is not yours to decide. Come, Lich. 
The Banished One calls you to his side. Kel'Thuzad is gone, yet your forces remain. Were I the suspicious sort, I might believe you were plotting to unseat me as Margrave. Not if you will agree to join our cause, Sindane. Your strength is needed if we are to thwart the Jailer. I see now the true threat before us. The House of Rituals stands with you. As proof of my good faith, I offer this staff, once wielded by the Primus himself. We will return the staff to the seat of the Primus. It shall serve as a reminder of our victory. But Kel'Thuzad, oh god, this Though Kel'Thuzad escaped justice, his shadow has been driven from Maldraxxus, and we have gained an uneasy ally in Margrave Sindane. I admit I had doubts about you at first, Mawwalker. But you have proven to be a valuable champion of our Covenant. There is much still to be done. Viraz must answer for his treachery, and Kel'Thuzad as well. Indeed. But now let us bring the Staff of the Primus to our Sanctum, and savor our victory. More Walker, your deeds this day will be remembered for all eternity. Balmadar! You colluded with outsiders to defy your house, and your Margrave. Only to expose Kel'Thuzad's treachery, and restore your rightful rule. Indeed. Then it is only fitting that you atone for your indiscretions. As my Baron. From this day forth, you will serve as my liaison to Baroness Draka. I will not fail you, my Margrave. Oh, nice. Good job. Nope, time to head back. Yeah, I didn't think I'd keep that either. Oh well. Too far away. Hmm. Loktar. In the name of the Price. Praxis. Nice. For Akarek. Alright, alright. Not bad, not bad. Now I have my own if I want to, you know, do shit about it. From Ka. Oh! It gives me a piece of. Oh, 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 oh damn. And my last renown. Every defeat is a lesson. Time to return the staff to the the statue. I swear, if it comes to life, that'll be awesome. Please be my fan theory. Focus. Strategy. Relentlessness. These are the weapons of the Necrobots. Victory will be claimed. Oh, I was hoping for more. Oh well. My last for now. Blood and thunder. Okay, let's see. Ret return this bead of anima to your covenant sanction in exchange for a shield or offhand. Uh, in exchange for a weapon. I'll probably take that one in exchange for a weapon. Because that would probably be better than the staff I have now. Okay. Only the And now I've obtained the title of Baron.
But I, where do I return that? Do I give it to you? All of these have been battle tested. How do I? Wait, maybe. Yeah, these. Okay, so raid finder. Go ahead, take your pick. There we go. Okay. Take good care of that. It'll likely outlast you. Oh, very lovely. Very lovely. Matches my outfit and everything. All right, all right. So that's it for that. I guess, uh, oh, I see a thingy. To definitely collect some anima to upgrade myself one last time before I proceed. New requisitions? Oh, hey, I can get you get finally. Going, then. Do this. Ah, my apprentice, you return at last. Very nice, Bone Smith Hermir. What did you break this time? Yep, I got all my soul by. What do you got? So there's this one, increases my intelligent armor for each enchantment on my armor. Oh god, that's a lot. Upon death, my armor anchors my soul, allowing me to fight for 10 more seconds. During this time, any damage is done. There's, can I receive healing? All right. Okay, that does it. Oh my god, this is actually really good for... Let's see. I mean, if I get rid of Emony, I lose out on this kidney stone. But... Mm, god, the, the options here are... Mountain speed... Mountain speed increase if your attack increases faster. You have a chance of finding out up before the jam stand. Yeah, I don't have a lot of these types of endurancy stuff, so... I'll probably, like, oh god, that would be so useful, but I can't, because I can't put multiple. Or healing a target of the little Increase movement speed. That's useful? Oh man, I wish I could combine these things. Because I have more potency then I do anything else, so... I'm gonna hold on to Emony for now. I'm in no real need of it yet. So yes, it's going to be quite a while for me to... get um, all the stuff I need. So let's take a peek here. There's the Maw. Should probably also, yeah, talk to talk to her on then legendary crafting. I should probably speak with the rune carver at least to unlock the legendary crafting. So that should be at least an option because um, there are not a lot of real well useful things. I don't actually know how many memories there are for my class, but if I recall, if I look at the uh, Adventures Guide, Dungeons, I know the other side has this one. Uh, basically, that or that was the one I really wanted, because that's quite useful. So that's one option. Uh, anything here? No. I, God, I, I forget which dungeons had them. You would think the Plague Fall would have. Uh, here, despise the sentence. Target on agony or consumption grants you wrath of consumption, all periodic damage. But I don't use corruption frequently. And then here it is, explosive 
Implosion grants additional haste for each one, and when the damage is east, instead gain 5% per imp, so the more imps I do, so this would actually cause me to cast faster. So ideally, the Necromantic Wave would be probably the best possible option. So, probably going to take some time to do that. The only other option I can think of is there is a... where? Where is he? I think it's over here. It's this the guy. Is at your disposal. Here it is, Chronicles of Lost Memory. But it requires me to have four animas. By the time I have that much anima saved up anyway, I would have already grinded to take care of stuff. So Free supply when necessary. Ideally, there is um, a few concerns to really have. So probably for the best for now, just to do memory of vital sacrifice. Because I don't really have much in terms of that. Like, uh, it's gonna take it would take me way too long for the reboot. So. Okay, let's head back to Oribos. And let's try out... Let's head to the Rune Carver, actually. I want to see what that does, so we can get like a little inspiration on what that means. Actually, might, might hold off on that for the time being, because, let's see, we have a lot of... Uh, Yeah, there is a lot of people. Also, let's see from here. Regardless, I was able to at least do that. I have my max renown. I got my decent armor. I'm in decent gear. I will have to store up some anima. So probably would be for the best if I actually stayed around to take care of that an the anima. Crisis. Uh, take care of a few things here and there. And goddamn, I cannot locate you idiots to save my life. There you guys are. Ah, uh, Bane. It's okay. You're useless right now. We all have a duty to fulfill. Yeah, so I have to go back there anyway. So, um, once I... So, I think what I'm gonna do, uh, for the time being... You know, I'm gonna waste my kidney stone and go back to my covenant. So, for the time being, I think I'm going to focus on, uh, get, try to forge up and collect what I can in terms of anima. Because, well, I need, I need anima. Once I have the appropriate amounts of anima in order to properly get what I need, I will then move on to, pro to the, um, to the maw to take care of those quests and get into this legendary crafting, in the, as well as... I'm going to try and get as much as I can uh, for those things. So I'm probably going to have to do Necromantic Wave or the other side, etc, etc. Focus on that in order to try and get the memories I'm looking for. If I can get those memories, it will work out. If I'm also able to raise my reputation with the Undying Army, I know there's also a memory that allows me to, that I can buy from the reputation, from the Maldraxxi, from the Undying Army reputation vendor, that will let me just send exploding maw rats, which is pretty versatile. So, at the end of the day, if I, so I'm going to go with whatever I can get first, and go from there. It's going to be, again, more grinding, but to you guys, it's going to feel like whatever long it takes for you to see this, vi from this video to the next one, and then we'll move on. So, either way, I'm so happy how this came out. And Maldraxxus will be next. No, sorry, it's not Maldraxxus. The Maw will be next. So, thank you so much for watching. Share, subscribe, let me know what you think. Leave comments below, and I'll be with you next time. Thank you, and goodbye.